Relaxer. I remember when it was first applied to my roots. I was at the salon complaining about it burning my scalp and the stylist said to me, you must suffer for beauty. It was at that moment that I realized that my hair wasn't beautiful and through this process it would be. For as long as I can remember, my hair has always been unmanageable and thick. It was the kind of hair that would have failed the pencil test during apartheid. Sometimes it reminds me of that guy in The Simpsons. Yeah, that's the one. My community called my kind of hair things like gumahara, boskop, gemins or kruis. I thought I was alone. Little did I know, I wasn't. My hair in its natural state would be, I would say, it's, I don't like it a lot, okay? Um, the reason for that is because it is chemically messed up. It's straight and it's gross and it's frizz and it's... Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, to work with all those different type of textures, it's quite a lot of work. That's why I prefer doing something else with my, you know, putting it away or braiding it up or, yeah, just doing some other funky style with it so that I can just... Yeah, I would say overpower, I would say mask to mask my hair. I'm not sure where the fascination with straight hair comes from. Is it the deeply rooted pain of apartheid, where your hair would be tested when they were unsure of your race? Or is it the media's usage of mostly straight haired models? One of the most prominent reasons is media and media infiltrating our minds and telling us what we want to be and who we should be and what is beautiful and what is not beautiful. It's everything being force fed to us. We actually don't have a, a voice, we don't have a choice to be honest. If you see something constantly, it takes about six or seven times before you see it to trigger inside of you. So if we've seen this on the TV at one place and we go into another place and we've seen it in a magazine and we come home and we've seen the same thing, it becomes indoctrinated in our minds and it becomes us. When I was younger, I paged through magazines, switched on the TV, and there was the constant reminder that my hair isn't long enough, isn't straight enough, isn't beautiful enough. relaxed my hair like a lot they could still see through that little like, relaxer so that you know, this she doesn't have style hair like you know guys wanted to do this play mm. with the hair so with my hair you couldn't if I blowed it out it had to stay blowed out because I, I would have to okay so firstly you're gonna do the relaxing thing then I'm gonna put on a little bit of dye just to give it that black chic look and then you're gonna roll it in after the rollers it's the blowout after the blowout it's the flat iron after the flat iron it's the swirl curls after the swirl curls it's the flat iron again <laughs> you know so it's, 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 it was a whole lot of a process for me basically i was looking for a space where my authentic self would be celebrated i came across the natural air movement and decided to find out more um robin when last you to do your relaxer um, I would say I did a relaxer about two months ago. It was a box relaxer. Okay. The effects of the re relaxer is obviously that your roots are thick and your ends are completely dead straight. Exactly. So now you're stuck yeah. in a position of you can't go curly and when you do go dry, you have the frizz and the minciness. Exactly. Um, what I can recommend for that is, let me just have a quick feel, let me just test your elasticity. Okay, your hair seems fairly strong, but just to be on the safe side, hair. let's do a SOS treatment on your hair to make your hair sharp strong. And once you have your hair in a 100% good state, we'll be able to do a curly perm on your hair. Okay. With doing the curly perm, you'll be able to be wet. It'll take you wash and go hair, literally five awesome. minutes, jump out of the shower, put on some mousse, put on a curl bounce, and you'll be able to leave. Um, we do have a new product that we're launching as well, which is called the Curly Keratin. The curly keratin allows you to have 100% of your curl and you lose all your frizz. So if your hair is doing a 180, yes, it, it will bring that. the 180 <laughs> down to a 90 degrees and your full curl will be in place. The second wow. benefit of it is that you'll be able to blow your hair and walk out into the rain, walk out, go to gym, go to the really? club, dance. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to do anything without your hair becoming a helmet. So, Wincing. yeah, Wincing it's, a, is my worst yeah. Enemy. it's a totally new product. It's for kids, for pregnant women. There's absolutely no, no chemicals, chemicals in it. Wow. There's no chemicals in it. So it's completely safe. And like I said, it will appeal to somebody like you that wants to be curly at times, yet you want the choice of being straight, straight as, as well. well. 
I want it to look like the girl on the magazine cover. I want the perfect body, perfect skin and perfect hair. I felt like if I didn't have that, no man would look at me. We all reach that time in our lives where we feel it's now time where we feel like, yeah, hey, my art club now for you, man, try it. <laughs> and um, when you have a your art club, <laughs> that's such an event to make the last time of being a club still to make. At that time, guys just wanted girls with nice hair. You know, if you didn't have nice hair, you didn't have straight hair, you weren't pretty, you weren't nice. Doesn't matter how your face looked, you could have not been the snow white, but if your hair wasn't fine, then you were not fine. Yeah, the colored guys were never. They always were looking for the curls, you know, with the Jordan tackies and the hair and stuff. So that's basically where it started when my friends started getting boyfriends and I didn't get one. Like, what? what's wrong with me? Why can't I get one? And um, as I said, um, people were very much at that time on your outside appearance and your hair. So, yeah, you can't, like, can't date you if you have a girl's girl, bruh. Nobody wants to feel left out. Being left out is the worst feeling in the world. So if it takes ironing your hair on an ironing board or spending a thousand rand on a month to your hair, um, we as humans will do that for acceptance. Um, again, it all depends on what they think is beautiful, what their peers think is beautiful, what their husbands think is beautiful. So, or the true meaning of beauty. Not a lot of women can express themselves totally and they're always thinking what people will think. that the never-ending pursuit of perfection is just that, a never-ending pursuit. I can't change my hair. Sooner or later, the rain will catch me, humidity will find me, and elixir will grow out. Then all that's left is me, me and my minced hair. People have said a lot of bad things about my hair and I think that's that's one of the things that breaks you down as a person. It shouldn't, but not all of us are strong enough. My hair is just the border of the bad that has been said about me. that it was because I was living towards other people's expectations. I wasn't living towards my own.
We should make the choice of how to wear our hair from a position of power and not from pain. The truth is that defining what's beautiful for ourselves comes with a sense of freedom, power and authority. We then need to hold on to that authority and stand in that power, while being ready to defend and remind ourselves of our new authority, because we will have opposition from society, from family and sometimes even from ourselves. Growing our hair is one thing, but growing to love it is another. Perhaps it's time to start over, time for regrowth of a different kind.